Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gourmand Garden. My name is Brianna. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you all have been having a nice, fun, or relaxing summer. I know it's been a hot one, a very, very just unreasonably humid and hot as of late, but I am so excited to be back talking about wonderful fragrances. Sometimes you know how it goes, work just comes in and takes over life. I've been at conferences and then I've been trying to catch up on rest and trying to wrap my head around life. But like I said, I have been thinking about this channel and have been picking up a bunch of fragrances and samples along the way. So I am I am putting it out there now that I'm going to be doing my absolute best to reprioritizing this amazing community that we have built. But without further ado, let's get into today's fragrance. And that is by Bodicia the Victorious, bodacious y'all. And this, Shout out to Eric for being an amazing boyfriend as always, because he gifted this to me after we sampled it and I was obsessed with it. So let's get into the notes to get a better understanding of this beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So right off the bat, Bodacious seduces us with a sumptuous blend of cherry, cognac, almond, and clove in its top notes. The sweet, boozy richness of cherry and cognac, the comforting aroma of almond, and the spicy kick of clove really smoothly come together and it just creates an intoxicating opening. And as we delve into the heart of the fragrance, we encounter a sensual melody of heliotrope, jasmine, Sambac and Moroccan Rose, and this floral trio brings a sensual, exotic charm that'll draw you in even deeper, y'all. And this part is just smooth, romantic, but it still retains an air of mystery, almost like a puzzle waiting to be solved. And then the base of this scent pulls you in with an irresistible pull. There's a gorgeous blend of tobacco, tonka bean, vanilla, sandalwood, musk, amber, and vetiver just waiting to greet you, and these notes together create a gourmand foundation that's warm, earthy, and utterly luxurious. When I first smelled this, it blew me away. And I, I've said this before, but I am not a huge cherry girl. I, I like cherry, but it does make me think of medicine that I used to take when I was younger, when I was sick. But this, I think with the addition of the cognac and with the clove to add a really nice boozy, spicy booziness to it, it gives the cherry just a different dimension. It gives it some body, it gives it some character, and it makes it not as linear. But then you've got some florals in there, and if you're, of course, y'all know I love heliotrope, which like an almondy, milky floral, you put that in there, it kind of brightens it, it adds a sparkliness to it. You've also got that jasmine, and jasmine is a sensuous floral. The tonka rounds it out and gives it a creamy, lactonic vibe. It's gourmand, but it's super wearable, and it's grown, it's sexy, it's special occasion, it's cocktail dress ready. So. Again, as somebody who isn't crazy about cherry fragrances, this is like the best cherry fragrance that I've ever smelled. And I have a couple of cherry fragrances, but this this one is for the girlies who aren't that pressed on cherry. Give this one a try if you haven't already. Like, get your nose on a sample of Bodacious because it will change. It will it'll change the game like how it did for me. Uh, again, it's really just. It's really just the booziness, which I love a good boozy cherry, like a black cherry, boozy cherry, like anything that kind of has that cherry liqueur vibe, which if you've had that in like cakes or desserts, it's so good and it comes off really well in fragrances. But this one is also great because it has an added hint of spice, some dryness, but some sweetness. It's not syrupy at all. It's perfectly blended, perfectly balanced. This house is a really, really, uh, the price is the price for a reason because they make great quality fragrances. I get all day wear on it and as it goes, it does change. It doesn't stay. That, that top cherry note, which I find to be an added bonus, but the cherry kind of dissipates and fades into the background after 
a couple of hours on my skin. And really the heart and the base, which is like a slightly floral, slightly spiced, creamy, lactonic, vanillic gourmand tends to come through as the fragrance wears. So again, if you're not crazy about cherry, I'm telling you, even with the cherry in the opening, it doesn't hang around all day long. It kind of blends into just a deep, sexy, spiced and warm gourmand and floral fragrance. I would say that this is unisex. It is perfect for fall and winter wear, even though I have it now, but hey, I'm in air conditioning, thank goodness. So I like to wear these type of fragrances just all day, all throughout the house when I'm working from home, just to get a really good sense of it. But this has wonderful staying power, wonderful longevity, uh, and it's not very linear at all. And again, the cherry is there, but it's not a syrupy cherry, it's a boozy cherry, it's a darker cherry, it's a black cherry if you wanna go there. Now that I think about it, to compare it to my other cherry fragrances, because I have Cult at Night by Atar Collection and uh, Kaoli's Love Fest Burning Cherry. It's definitely the most sensuous and bodacious, bodacious is the most sensuous and I guess mature out of all of them. Call Tat Night is a close second, but that gives more of like a cherry pie, cherry dessert. It's got spice, but it's more spice on the cinnamon side. So it gives more dessert vibe versus bodacious, which is spiced cherry spice on the clove side. Uh, and then Love Fest Burning Cherry by Kaylee is the most bright and sparkling of all of them, but it's a little drier because there's some Palo Santo in it there. I think that also has vetiver. So again, I, I, I don't necessarily gravitate towards cherry uh, in general, but when the cherry is not super syrupy when it's spiced or a little dry uh, and desert or dessert-like, I can rock with it. And this is absolutely no exception. So yeah, look out for a cherry comparison video. I'll go into depth about all of that. But let me know in the comments if you've tried any uh, bodacious fragrances or not bodacious, bodicia fragrances. Uh, and if you've tried bodacious, what are your thoughts on it? And let me know, give me the tea. What are some other really, really good cherry fragrances that you think I should try? I've already tried all of the new Tom Ford Lost or the new Tom Ford uh, cherry fragrances. I'm good on that, but uh, yeah, let me know if there are other, any other really interesting cherry fragrances uh, that you think would be of interest. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a safe and wonderful week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.